did you know that the formula to find the volume of a rectangular prism is used every day around the world? Hi everyone, this is Mr. Lara, and in this video, I'll be showing you two ways that you can find the volume of any rectangular prism using a formula. If you're looking to master various concepts in math, get better grades, or simply improve your math skills, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to your channel where you can find hundreds of videos in math and science. So how is finding the volume of rectangular prism used in everyday life? One example is in the global supply chain. Rectangular shipping containers are standard vessels that help companies transport goods around the world. Ocean freight, air, rail, and truck transportation are some of the many methods of transporting cargo. So why is finding volume important? Knowing the volume of a shipping container is important in transportation because it allows companies to know how much can fit into a container and its capacity. So what is volume? Volume can be defined as the amount of space an object takes up. Volume is measured in cubic units. When we're trying to find the volume of a rectangular prism, you can think of trying to find how many cubes fit inside. We can start by looking at the dimensions of a rectangular prism. Every rectangular prism has a length, a width, and a height. If we wanted to find the volume, we need to multiply the length times the width times the height. Another way of finding the volume of a rectangular prism is base times height, where the base consists of the length times the width. Let's go over a couple of examples. Let's say you're asked to find the volume of a prism that has a length of 20 feet, a width of 8 feet, and a height of 10 feet. To find the volume, you need to use the formula length times width times height. If we're to multiply 20 feet times 8 feet times 10 feet, we would get 1,600 feet cubed. This means 1,600 cubes that have an edge length of one foot fit inside a rectangular prism. We can find the volume of any rectangular prism by multiplying its length times its width times its height. If you were asked to find the volume of a rectangular prism that has a length of 10 meters, a width of 4 meters, and a height of 8 meters, we would use our formula to multiply 10 times 4 times 8. The volume would be 320 cubed meters. We could also use the formula base times height to find our answer. To find the base, we would first multiply 10 times 4, then multiply our base, which is 40 square feet, by the height, which is 8. Our answer would also be 320 cubic meters. Here's your challenge for this video. You're now officially the owner of a transportation company that was hired to move 19,856 boxes that each measure a cubic foot from California to New Mexico. Your goal is to fit as many boxes within each trailer. If each container in a trailer has a length of 28 feet, a width of 8 feet, and a height of 9 feet, how many trailers will you need to move the cargo? So go ahead and post your answer as a comment and I'll be getting back to you.